I'm going to just start off by cleaning up my brows. I've already did them off camera, but I'm using my fave thing to clean up my brows and as well as use it as a base, which is my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC30. I never conceal the top of my eyebrows with concealer. I always use the foundation, so I'm using my Black Opal Stick Foundation. Now I'm just blending that out, making sure I have a set base. To set my base, I'm using Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette, and I'm using that white shade. Now for the fun. This is the NYX Fire Palette. This is of their new Elements palettes. And I will say that this is my favorite of them all. I love this palette. Here I'm just swatching in. I swatched the yellow, the orange, the red, and a shimmer. It's like a true gold shimmer. It doesn't really come off like that on camera. But this, it's like a gold shimmer with green reflex. Let me say that yeah I love it though so I'm gonna just take this yellow shade first um a lot of people like to pack the shade on and then blend it um I just find for me to go ahead and get a very good blended base first and then pack shadow on works so much better so here I'm just blending that out doing um windshield wiper moves in circles all the way around and then i'm gonna go back in and i'm packing that color in just to give it more more mm. after i've done that i'm going in with that orange shade and i'm gonna put that slightly lower than the orange and I'm going to get that blended in. I really don't have to pack this color because the color payoff is great. So, I'm going to just go back and forth between that orange and that yellow. Making sure I get a really good blended base. And that I don't use lose any of that yellow color. Because I do want that yellow to peek out from behind the orange. So yeah, here my camera cut off. But what I did was I went ahead and cut my crease. I used my Tarte Shape Tape to do a half cut crease and I'm setting it again with the white shade from the peanut butter and jelly palette. Now I'm going in with the red shade from the palette and putting that on the outer corner. I was amazed at the way the red picked up on my skin just from the little bit that I put on there. I'm loving this red. I love it. I'm just blending that into the orange. <laughs> See, I told you, I love it. Now I'm going back in with some of the burgundy shade because I want it to be a little darker in that outer corner. So I was able to do this and still get that nice deep red. It looks great. I love it. Okay, so now I'm going in with that shade, that shimmery gold shade with the green reflex that I swatched earlier. You have to apply this with a wet brush. It didn't give me any color payoff the first time, but once I applied it with the wet brush, um, as you can see, I'm applying a lot because I just really want that color to stand out. So I'm applying a lot of it just to make sure I get a lot of color payoff. Some may see it as extra. I see it as completing my look the way I want it to be. Now here's the fail. I didn't want to edit this out because I, I just want y'all to know that everybody messes up. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't even like liner like that. But me trying to be all fancy and shit. Never again. But yeah, here <laughs> I was outlining the cut crease with blue glitter. <sighs> I didn't even go through with it. I looked at it and said, yeah, no. And I ended up just wiping it all off. <laughs> so I've wiped it off. <laughs> and I'm going back in. Um, Doing, going through the motions, just setting everything, going back in with the yellow color, um, and then I'm going to go cut the crease, get the orange in there. I'm going to do all of that. Make sure it looks perfectly blended, and you won't even tell the difference. Now you can actually see me cut the crease with the Tarte Shape Tape. I don't put a lot on my brush because I don't want it to be too wet. I put just enough. It makes it so much easier. A lot of people that I've seen, they put so much concealer on their brush. And that just doesn't, to me, I found that that makes it harder to place a shadow on top. So, yeah. 
I start off with the lowest amount that I can and go from there. Just setting that and going back in with that gold shade. Now I'm just going in and taking that yellow and putting that all under my eye. I love, all my looks, I love them smoked out. So yeah, this may be a little much for you, um, but you can just tone it down as much as you would like. But I'm just putting I'm just putting it all underneath. And then I'm going back in with the orange and then the red. And with the red, I mix the red and the burgundy. Now I'm going in with my favorite cold pencil. And this is the MAC Extreme Black Cold Pencil. And I'm just, <laughs> got it on my eye. There's nothing that can't be fixed. But I'm just tight lining and I'm lining my waterline. And then I'm going back in with that red and burgundy mix just to get it, smoke it out a little bit more. Now I'm going in with one of my fave highlighters, the Locale Highlighter in Neon Moon. And just to give it that, mm, I'm putting that in the inner corner. Looks good. I love, I love Locale. Listen, you guys, she has some of the best highlighters ever. Go shop with her. Shop Locale. Now I'm just putting on some mascara to prepare for my fave lashes to be announced. Huh, huh, huh. So this is the look. I hope you guys like it. I loved creating it. I was going to do something simple and it turned into a half cut crease. So if you guys see any looks or anything that you guys would like me to do, just let me know. You know my social media. As always, it's down below and I'll see you guys next time.